Head is another episode from Weekly Waste Man. Now first of all, can you please go and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. We're getting so close to 100 subscribers, so if you could please do that, I'd greatly appreciate that. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, right, let's get straight into this. First of all, takeover news. There is none. Absolutely nothing's going on right now. There's no news to be had. Don't listen to the tweets. Don't listen to the Daily Fail. There is nothing going on right now. Or at least, the, the, I mean, there is stuff going on, but like, there's nothing for us to know about right now. So just ignore the rumors in it and we'll know when we know. Yeah, so the reason that we're here then is Matty Longstaff. So as you may or may not know, there's been an offer that's come in for him from Udinese for a free transfer, but they, they want to give him over 20K a week, which would make him one of the highest players or highest paid players that they've got. Um, Udinese, like their owners are also owning Watford. So, you know, there could be that risk of him coming back and, and playing against Newcastle at some point. Um, you know, it's it's not, a, it's not a bad thing if it does happen or it's not a really bad thing. Obviously for him, he's a Newcastle supporter. He's not gonna wanna play against his club. So that might be in his decision. But along with that, to counter that, Newcastle have actually come back and offered to up his wages. So everything that you read in the minute about him going to Udinese, like it might not even be happening. Like he loves Newcastle United. Um, you know, it's not been a, a prolific goal scorer or anything like this, but you know, the fans, the fans like him. Um, you know, he loves the club. So, you know, I'm happy for him to stay, kind of, you know, learn some new skills, see how he develops a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'd be happy with that. I'm happy to keep him stay. But like I said, let's, we've got to see what happens with the takeover and if there is any money that gets injected into the club. So who knows? Yo, so other news then about Newcastle United. This is the final thing. I'm keeping this all brief, but it's about season tickets. Um, a lot of you probably know this already because you own the season tickets, but a lot of you probably don't know. Um, but yeah, basically Newcastle, they ain't saying fuck all about it what's going to happen with the remainder for the season. I think Newcastle are the only club that haven't actually come out and spoken about it publicly or made any kind of a statement to let fans know what's going on. It's kind of disgusting really. It doesn't take a lot, does it? Decisions probably already been made. If they do decide to keep that money, it's a little bit scummy. You know, there's probably a lot of fans that would just say keep the money in it, fucking put it towards a new dress or something, but fucking, you know, there's a lot of fans that can't really afford to do that. Like if they've, you know, they've not got what they paid for out of the season ticket. So yeah, they want some of that money back, rightfully so. But the least that Newcastle you, uh, Newcastle can do is make a statement about it. You know, it's either Mike Ashley or one of his band of merry men, who knows? Um, but it's always the same shit with Newcastle, isn't it, man, when Mike Ashley is there. Nothing ever comes out. There's never any statements. There's never no comments. It's just fucking blackout, so. Um, yeah, that's it. So that's Newcastle United news. Um, like I said, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. We're so close to that 100 subscribers, so please, please, please hit that button. Thank you very much for watching. It's been Blunt Ted. It's Weekly Waste, man. See.